Hello and welcome to the business of this class. My name is Tarla Ohia and today I'm going to be taking you on a lesson on the overview of business studies. Now I'm sure you're wondering what is business studies all about? Well I'll start by telling you a little history. Now back in the early days many families depended on what is generally known as subsistence agriculture. Now that is the planting of crops and rearing of animals basically to provide food and clothes sufficient for a family within a year. A father, mother, and maybe children of age will go to the farm. They'll plant crops such as cassava and maize, vegetables like the bitter leaves, scent leaves, pumpkin leaves, fruits like mangoes, banana, pawpaw, and then they would also rear animals like the goats, cow, chickens, pigs, for food and for clothes. Like the family over here, the father and the mother planting crops, like we said, the maize and other food items that they needed within a year. They were right animals and from the animals they would get food like meat from the goat and the cow. From animals like the cow they will get milk like the man here milking his cow. Of course, they read animals like fish and from these animals, they got skin, skin to make clothes that they would wear. But with time, the farm was not sufficient enough to give them all the food that they needed. I'm sure you're wondering why. Now imagine you as a baby. I'm sure if I ask you what you needed back then as a baby, you probably tell me baby food, clothes, and maybe toys. But if I ask you now what you need, I'm sure your list will be long. Clothes, food, maybe you want a camera, a laptop, a bag. Your list will be on and on. Now why is that the case? You're older now and you have a better knowledge of what you need compared to when you were a baby. Now that's what happened back then, as the families increased in size and as more children were added, the family needs also increased. Now imagine the father who was married to just one wife, now decides to take another wife or maybe two, three wives and those wives also give birth and have more children added to the family. The needs became so much for the farm to produce. In some cases, where they were just, where it was just a man married to one wife. They probably had just one child, but with time, more children were born into the family. Their needs increased. Now they wondered how were they going to handle this? They made this decision to get what they needed from others who had what they didn't have. Now imagine the father in the family, maybe a family that has cassava, has plantain, but now needs yam. He'll go to the father in the second family who has yam and he'll meet him and say, please, I'll give you some of my plantain, maybe a bunch of plantain and in exchange, I'd like you to give me two tubers of yam. And of course, if he's willing, he'll exchange his yam for the plantain. Now that's the way they began to get the things that they needed, which they couldn't get from their farms. This kind of exchange was the first form of buying and selling. It was the oldest form of buying and selling, and it was known as trade by butter. What is trade by butter? Trade by butter is the exchange of goods for goods or services for services. Now, what do we mean? Good for goods, or services for services? Like the example I just gave. The father with the plantain, bunch of plantain, comes to the other father in this family to exchange yam, tubers of yam. Now, that is a good for a good. But it wasn't just goods that they needed. They needed services. Remember, we're talking of services for services. The father in this family could come to this other father and say to him, if you help me repair my bicycle, 
I'll help you fix your fishing net. Now, those were activities. Those were things they could do for each other. Those are what we call services. And of course, if it's okay with him, they would agree. And of course, he would help him fix his net while he repairs his bicycle. I'm sure if I asked you if you've done a little bit of trade by butter, I'm sure you would have done some sort. When I was your age, I remember back in school, I did some exchange too. I really didn't like beverage, but I loved powdered milk. So I would meet my classmates or friends and I'll ask them, if you give me your tin of milk, I'll give you my tin of beverage in exchange. And of course, some of them agreed. That was straight by butter. I'm sure you've done some. Can you remember on the table, asking your brother or sister, if you give me your piece of meat, I will give you my dodo. That was straight by butter. Take a look at this picture here. Can we see exchange? The man here is exchanging his tomatoes with the man here who has a cup of beans. This is trade by butter. Now, although the trade by butter system helped the people get some of the things they needed, it also caused problems. It had problems upon problems. Now imagine the father in the first family. Maybe he has a cow and he needs maybe still a bunch of plantain. And he comes to the father in the second family. He says, please, I want your bunch of plantain. And in exchange, I'll give you my cow. But can you imagine that? A whole cow for just a little bunch of plantain? That doesn't measure up well. Of course, the value of the cow is far greater than the value of the plantain, the bunch of plantain. That's like saying to you, give me your bicycle in exchange for a skipping rope. I'm sure you won't want that. Well, that was one of the problems that the butter system posed. Imagine again, the same man goes with his cow to the second man and says, please give me your plantain and this time take my cow. But the man doesn't necessarily want the cow. So supposing he says, no, I don't want your cow. I want some fish, but he doesn't have fish. Can you see a bit of a problem? It meant that for everything that they needed, they had to have what was equivalent that the other party also wanted. But that was not always the case. And that was a problem. Now that's where money was introduced. Money was introduced to solve the problems that the butter system created. What is money? Money is the medium of exchange with which we get the things we need and want. The medium of exchange. Now, I, if I ask you to go and buy a shirt, what would you do? You go to the market, you ask the seller for a shirt, he'll tell you the price. And if you have the money in exchange, you will give him the money and take the shirt. Money is the medium of exchange, exchanging the shirt for the money. And of course, with money, things were a lot easier. Over here, we have a man counting all his money. But you know what? Money doesn't come free. You have to work for money. You work hard to get paid. I'm sure if I ask you, how was your school fees paid? You tell me, my father paid my school fees. But you know how he did it. He must have worked. Now, remember, we're learning on the overview of business studies. Business studies. We're talking about work. What is business? We're going to break business studies into two. Business and, of course, studies. What's business? In one sense, it's work. Work. Like the jobs your parents do. Maybe a banker, a teacher, a doctor, an engineer, a lawyer, a pilot, 
whatever occupation, the job they do to earn a living, to earn salaries and wages. That's business. Now that's business in one sense. But then business also refers to the activities that involve buying and selling goods and services. Buying goods and services, what comes to your mind? Trade, a trader, buying and selling. Of course, that's business. So every other activity that involves buying and selling goods is business. Now we come to studies. What studies? Studies is basically learning. We learn so that we can gain knowledge. So then what is business studies? Business studies is an academic subject, just like you have mathematics, English, and some other subjects that I know you like. It's an academic subject. We learn to gain knowledge. And what are we gaining knowledge about? The world of business. Now, don't forget we said business refers to work in one sense. And in another sense, business refers to activities that involve buying and selling goods and services. So business studies is simply the study of business. Now I'm sure you're wondering, are we going to learn all about the world of business? So much, we'll take it in bits. At this level, we'll look at certain components of business studies. And the first we'll look at will be the effective work practice. Effective work practice has different topics under it and the first we will take is the office. Now, of course, the office is the place of work. Like we have here, this is an office. It's a place of work. The second topic we'll look at is the office staff. And who are they? The people who work in the office like we have here. This is also an office staff. We'll take a look at the right attitude to work. What does that mean? The right mentality, the right mindset, and of course, the right behavior. Now, when a staff comes to work, he has to have the right mindset and behavior so that he's able to achieve the goals in the office. We'll also take a look at the office activities. Now, these are basically the tasks, the jobs that are performed in the office, but they are performed in the office by different departments. Now, as we go on learning, we will get to know what departments in an office are. We'll take a look at commerce, the heart of business. And under that, we have production. What is production? Production basically is the making of goods and providing of services that people need. Take a look at this picture here. This is a woman here. Can you see? She's making maybe a dress or a shirt or something. And she's using her machine to do that. She's producing production. Now, even though she's producing the clothes that she's making a dress, she must have put certain things together. She must have gotten money to buy the machine that she's using. Of course, the machine itself is very important. If you look around her, there are some other people working in the same place. And of course, not everybody has the skills sewing. So of course, you have to be someone with the right skills the right knowledge, the expertise. Now, all of this together is what we refer to as factors of production. These are the resources that are put together to be able to make goods and provide services. Land, capital, that's money machines, labor, which refers to the workers, the people, of course, who have the right skills. Enterprise. Enterprise basically means the management, the person who is in charge 
of all these other resources who ensures that production is successful with all these resources. We'll also take a look at commerce. I'm sure you're wondering, commerce? Commerce, the heart of business. As we learn, you'll get to know why commerce is the heart of business. But what is commerce? Commerce is basically trade and aids to trade. And trade is simply buying and selling. Aids to trade simply refers to the different activities that support trade, the activities that make trade easier. And then we have occupation. Occupation is basically work that is done to earn a living. Like we have here. This is a man who's painting. He's an artist. His occupation is painting. We have forms of business organizations. Now there are different types of businesses and as we go along learning we'll get to know what the different forms of business organizations are. We'll also take a good look at bookkeeping and business success and under that we'll take a look at bookkeeping. Now what's bookkeeping about? It's basically the practice of keeping financial records properly. You know it's one thing to own a business it's another thing to manage it. Now to manage it properly so that you make good profits, it's advisable to keep financial records well. You keep records of all your transactions. We'll take a look at keyboarding as a communication tool. And under that, we'll learn basic keyboarding skills. Does this ring a bell? Keyboarding. Take a look at this here. I'm sure this looks pretty familiar to you. Keyboard. Does that remind you of your computer? Or maybe a typewriter? Yes. In the workplace, some gadgets and tools are used to make work easier. Such is the computer. And of course, it's necessary to know how to use the computer. So we're going to learn how to use the keyboard so that we learn how to make work easier. I'm sure you're wondering, all this, why are we studying business studies? I'll tell you. By the time you're through with all these lessons, you discover that you will learn how to think soundly and make better decisions. You'll also realize that you can manage your time and resources wisely. You'll learn how to keep financial records. The pocket money daddy and mommy gives to you. You learn how to keep good records of them. You learn to interpret and use financial information. You have developed skills, important skills like computing and keyboarding skills, as well as shorthand. You would also understand how businesses operate. I'm sure you're wondering, what would I like to be when I grow up? You might be a businessman. It's important to learn how businesses are, or, or, operate. And this you would discover as you learn business studies. Finally, you'll learn how to make a very good choice of your career for a better future. I'm sure these are good reasons why you would love to study business studies. Now let's take a quick look at all that we've learned today. Let's see how much you can remember. The summary. What is business studies? We said business studies is an academic subject that teaches us about the world of business. And remember what we said, business, work, activities that involve buying and selling goods. Business studies is simply the study of business. And when we're through learning different topics, we'll discover that we can make better decisions. We can use our resources wisely. We'll keep records properly. We'll use financial information rightly and of course we'll plan and organize our future better. I'm sure now you're looking forward to learning business studies. Well, I'm also looking forward to teaching you. Thank you.